nut for us? Well, okay. Awesome! Thank you, Morphinot! Anytime, Landry. On the table, Morphonauts, mix and match magnetic figures, wave one. What's a Morphonaut? The Morphonaut story. In the distant future, Earth we know it is attacked by meteorites containing Morphonite, a mysterious element from an alien planet. The surviving humans seek refuge in the Ark Asteroid Recovery Center, a giant underground city built by subservient robots. When the robots were exposed to Morphonite, they became sentient and demanded independence from the humans. The battle for the future erupts to Earth's surface. Now it's man against machine against mutant creature, all of whom are now exposed to Morphonite's dangerous morphing power. Using the Morphonite to become a lethal fighter is one thing, controlling it is another. Who will conquer the Earth's surface? Who will claim the Ark? Who will survive the Morphonite's deadly power? Pick a side and discover the adventures of Morphonauts. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Let's look at one closer. Well, let's start out by looking at the most human of Morphonauts, Razornaut. Razornaut. Razornaut searches Earth's surface for human survivors of the Morphonite meteor attack. His martial arts and survival skills make him a deadly threat to the mutant creatures and sentient robots who battle for dominance. On the back of the box, the three figures for Wave 1, Razornaut, Crabonaut, and Pyronaut, mix, match, and morph, future figures available. And we've got a pretty spiffy app down here. You can do all sorts of crazy customization with your Morphonaut, color changing, parts changing, and even dancing. Well, let's expose this Morphonite to Tableite. And a Razor Knot outside of the package looking most action figure like. Very Marvel superhero esque. I see a lot of different magnetic possibilities already with the guy. So let's check out some of these magnetics. Hey, that hurts. Oh, sorry about that. Look at that. Embedded in his arm is a magnetic part. And I see lots of plastic notches around the arm, which gives it support as you move it around. Not bad at all. Both sides. How about the head? Oh! Look at that. What else we got? Oh, nothing in the waist, but it does rotate. And we have some leg joints as well. And there's also magnetics on his feet. Very important spot. Let's load up this backpack. Looking good, Razor Knot. I do what I can. I almost wonder if this backpack here could sub as a little sky sled. Sure, you could do some things like that. And you could probably, oh no, I thought maybe these pegs would fit into his uh, feet. But of course, you could also use them as weapons. They fit into his hands. Whoop! My arm. I love the concept of magnetics included with action figures. Not only does it give you that chance to customize, but it is also a really fun way to articulate your action figure. Looks like we also have some elbow joints, but they're a little sticky right now. There we go, the paint is fresh. Very good looking figure. Of course, the adventures of Razor Knot by himself would be pretty mundane. That's why the Morphonauts have to mix, match, and morph. Let's introduce Crabonaut to the situation. When the Morphonite asteroids hit Earth's surface, Crabonaut mutated into a human-like creature with enhanced abilities, an exoskeleton stronger than steel, and pincers that can crush anything. Crab men always get the cool accessories. Let's open this one up. And Crabonaut outside of the package. If you are a fan of crustaceans, this is the one for you. Very yellow and clicky. 
Wow, I love the double arms on this guy. We've got extra arms up on this crab-like back accessory here. Could even sub as a little mini creature, perhaps. All of these with removable heads, arms, legs, with even elbow joints, and it looks like knee joints on the dude. Hey, Razor Knot. Yes? Now's your chance to do some combining with a Grabanaut. Uh-oh. Are you sure about this? Oh, come on. It'll be fun. So let's test out some of this. Ugh. That worked very seamlessly. What do you think of your crab arms now? Not bad. Yeah, that does look pretty cool. However, if we really want to make things really interesting, we need to introduce Pyronaut. I call his weapon. Sacrificing himself to save others when the Morphinite asteroids hit Earth's surface, Pyronaut was a hero to the human inhabitants of the Ark. Brought back to life when his mind was transplanted into a new robot body, Pyronaut is now the leader of the newly sentient Robot Armada. Huh, well that answers if this guy was human or robot. Robot all the way. Pyronaut, outside of the box, easily my favorite. Very vibrant orange. Very robotic, but yet very human as well. It could really be either or. Kind of hunched over right now. Nice looking flame gun weapon. One in hand, the other attached to the backpack up there. Really cleverly designed on this one. We bring back Razor Knot with the crab arms. Hi. And now Crabinot with the human arms. How's it going? Perhaps we should do just an all out jumble now. And there we have complete destruction. It's funny how the magnets will want to just self-reattach in some strange places. But now we can totally craft our own character. What shall we do? Well, let's use the body of the Crabinaut. I like the yellow body here. Oh, what is going on? Everything is stuck. And we'll need to pick some legs. Really like the legs of the Pyronaut. At least on one side. I think that'll give him some support, and then maybe a human leg on the other. I suppose we could put one backwards leg even. That would be funny, but we'll go with a normal leg. Alright, now what do we do for arms? Well, we have to have at least one pyronaut arm, probably on the reverse side for balance. And you know what? Let's use a human arm on the other side. As so we've got a human leg on that side. Not bad. Now we've got to use a headpiece. I'm gonna to have to go with Pyronaut's head, whatever that is. Now these are magnetic pieces, so beware of swallowing, so you'll want to be up to the age limit of six and over. Most of these pieces look very safe. The heads are the only ones that are questionable. And there we've got a pretty cool warrior built. Have to get that elbow joint in there. Now for a backpack, let's go with something that Razor Knot would wear. And I think we're going to have to have at least one claw up there. And now we've got something just ultra crazy cool. Love the mix and match. And of course we should have enough pieces for two more creations. Well, let's use the body of Pyronaut this time. And I'm going to look for the legs on Crabinaut here. And find another leg. Looks comfortable. And maybe let's just use a lot of crab pieces on him. And it's got to have the human head, of course. Where did the human head go? There it is. That's interesting. And of course, what do we have left here? The body of Razor Knot. 
the head of the crab. Love these cool pyronaut legs. They're the best. They're huge. Now we've got an assortment of crazy. And there we go with some weird creations. Obviously, the more Morphonauts you can find, the crazier the combinations you can create. I think three will do it for you, but hopefully when wave two comes out, your creations can get even crazier. Clever idea. I think I've seen this done before with zoo animals, but never the awesomeness of an action figure. Let's get these guys back to how they should be. All right. Oh, wait a second. Something doesn't look right here. Ah, oh, the heads. Uh, Pyronaut, can I have uh, Razornaut's weapon, please? And there we go, back to their original forms. That was crazy. These things are really silly to play with. With the magnetics, they mix and match really quickly. It's not like a turtle's mutation toy where you really have to squeeze an arm onto a ball joint. These snap in really fast and cleanly for very fast play. Plus, there's nothing more creative than characters with ambiguous backstories. You could really create any kind of story you wish. Good looking toys! Morphonauts Arriving 2017 are available on Amazon.com and Morphonauts.com. If you're wild into mix and match and customization of action figures, of humans, robots, and creatures, this is the Magnetic Collection for you. With clever figures, interesting weaponry, and bright plastic, these characters should give you lots of fun. Unless you already are a robot and worried about the magnetics attaching to yourself, find a Morphonaut and give one a try. That's what I have to say about that. Crabinaut's nutcracking abilities is a worthy squirrel trait. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Hey Crabinaut, let's go out for lunch. Uh, I don't know. Food is so expensive these days. It costs an arm and a leg. Well, maybe I'll lend you my arm. Gee, thanks. Now we can go to the restaurant. Oh no, look out everybody! Sorry about that. Your open magnet caught my spoon. Well, that doesn't happen every day.